Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I do apologize, it's been a while since I've gotten one out. I It takes me quite a while. Uh, the audio, I, I basically have to piece everything together manually because the audio has desynced so badly on at least a couple of these episodes that are coming up. So yes, please bear with me while I do that, but we are back, at least for this is one. I ran out of time to do more Assassin's Creed videos. So you get lucky and you get a coder video that I managed to put together a couple days ago or yesterday. I don't know. It's like five in the morning right now. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this one. Uh, please let me know if anything's wrong. I really don't have time to go and make sure everything is uh, like the best it can be right now. But, like there's nothing weird going like, like super weird. There's going to be some audio desync, but if there's anything else that's weird, please let me know. And I will fix it as soon as I get back. And since this is the last video, I should be back in a couple days from my camping for work. So anyway, this is a ramble. It's 5 a.m. Thank you all. I hope you enjoy. And I'll be with you in a moment. Lord. I only have concussion grenades. the best squad for this. What the heck? Why was I running? It just kind of depends on whether or not they get some of their force powers to go off at the beginning. Bastion would be good. Maybe I should change it out. I have to run all the way back, though. Gotta run all the way back, and then all the way back again. Yeah. I wish I could, like, I don't, I can't, like, move the camera around to, like, look up and down, but I wish I could. They've got the sound effects down really, really well here. It 
It's interesting, um... Because my Wookiee... So our Star Wars campaign is taking place like five years after the New Republic's been established. So, um... We don't have to worry about any of those, the fights or anything like that. It's just like, kind of like the world after... The galaxy after everything's happened. And, uh... But my, my Wookiee's old enough that she was, in fact, actually taken to... She was taken by the Empire, not as a slave, per se, but as a, um... I mean, she was, but uh, she wasn't, like, a, a hard labor slave. She was uh, in, a, like, a scientific experiment type thing. And that's because I wanted to do the Berserker route for her, and there's one route in the Berserker called, like, a Cyborg Berserker. And I was like, I want to do that. And, um, oh, I can just select my party from here? Okay. Uh, level up. Skills. But yeah, so so eventually, uh, she's, so, because like, it'd be cool to be a cyborg berserker, but I don't think Wookiees would be down with that generally. Like, they, they're not really into, like, cybernetic enhancements. They're a little bit more natural. So, I decided that she was, a, like, an, a medical experiment on a faraway planet, but they did it, like, they were just kind of doing it to be terrible. So, she's got, like, these, like, wonky cybernetic implants. Um, and it's gonna be really interesting, because I, I really like her character so far. Treat injury. You're my healer. And... Should I just focus her on awareness and treat injury? Like, should that just be a thing? That I I don't I don't worry about um I can't just go to her powers. It won't let me. It recommends it all in stealth, which seems dumb. I can't back out of this screen. I'm stuck! Maybe I'll just save her points for now. Feats. Advanced Jedi defense. Is there defense for mine stuff? I assume... Nope, not that. That's against, I think this is the one. No amount of damage or distraction will cause fear or loss of alertness. This ability is always active. Night sense. So it looks like we've got what amounts to our brain. Oh, I should give her this. Gives a plus one skill, bonus points to persuade, awareness, and treat injury. She should have that, because she's my healer. Oh, or should I give her the ability to have light armor? What the heck? Maybe I'll give her light armor? How's that sound? Oh, no, no armor disables force powers. All right, then. Then I... What about the persuade treat injury thing? We can't wear even light armor? Weird. Wow. This power triggers spasms in the victim's lungs. Okay. To drain the life of others, to heal themselves. Will cancel first and second tier powers active on the target. The affected force powers are force aura, force shield, force valor, for night valor, burst of speed, blah, blah, blah. These powers are instantly canceled, but the target can reactivate them if force, po force points are available. She does already have throw lightsaber level one. And she could get this one. 
Check up to three separate targets. That sounds cool. That sounds cool to get the next upgrade on that. I'm just gonna get that one. Okay. Now make sure to throw your lightsaber a lot, okay? Yes. Have a shield. You also have a shield. What? And now we run all the way back. Bachelor doesn't have a lightsaber? Oh my gosh, she doesn't. Why doesn't she have a lightsaber? Uh, Bastula. Mm. Lightsaber. Oh. Here. Um. How do I give you stuff? Lightsaber. Or a double-bladed lightsaber. Here, you can have a regular lightsaber. Yeah, have a regular lightsaber. Okay. Save. Yes, yes, yes. Ow, what? Whoa. Whoa. I'm here. Wrong way. Whoa. 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 Okay, Bastila has something on her mind, okay? Speak to her. How can I help? Y you have something you want to ask me? I do. How did you know? <laughs> Your face is all scrunched up like a Kinrath pup. Uh, I yeah. An amusement is <laughs> hardly the truth. You both know the real reason you have some idea of what I'm thinking. The bond we share. Mm hmm. Uh, maybe. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels. And what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. Uh, <laughs> you can warn me when I do something bad. Blink once for dark side, twice for light. Um, what do you think I should do? I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of well, the... Well, yeah, I, but, well, then why are you bringing but it up? Be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. Uh, why are you getting so upset? I'm sorry if I come across as harsh, but I am concerned for you, for our mission, and for myself as well. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Works both ways, doesn't it? You could help me stay strong. Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you, but I am no master. Not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. Your power could be a gift or Interesting. A when you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. Appreciate any help you could offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. For now, we should return to our mission. Okay. I'll save when we get out there, if I can ever get out there. Yeah, I know, right? She's like, all of a sudden stopped me. And it's, oh, man, I keep, hmm. Um, and it's like, uh, by the way, you may or may not be a ticking time bomb and, and very evil. But, uh, just, just want to let you know, just in case you were wondering ever that you haven't been trained long enough, so you're a liability. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the pep talk, mom. I appreciate it. Do, do, 
I like the music out here. Kayak's trying to teach me how to stream properly. <laughs> Thanks, Kayuk. I will look at it, I promise. I will save or try not to be evil. Yeah, right? I'm gonna save. Yes! No, it will. Next time I play this, it'll be good to have. Because this, this is the only one that's giving me problems, and I think it's because of the resolution. Yay! You made it to your stop! Woo! Lord. Do I not have my shield on now? What the heck? Did my shield go away? it did oh I have force resistance let me actually use that okay haha haha -ha! take that haha -ha! take that ow I am gonna die it's fine Ow, 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 ow. I don't eat. Okay. That Jedi back there is chucking his lightsaber many times. It's not fair. I'm gonna jump on you if I can. Oh, I can't. She got what? She got poisoned? Is that what happened? Wow, that was much easier with Bastula. She's very strong. Thank you, Bastula. We did it. Save energy shield. We got a crystal! We got a couple crystals and some short lightsabers. Neat! Another crystal! And a lightsaber. Wow, we're getting lots. Yeah, definitely saving again. We lived. Is there any way to help Bastila? I'm here. What 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 does she have? Okay, it looks like she's good now. What? Uh I'll probably be around. I'll probably be playing Anthem in two hours. You think it, you think it was along the lines of Boo Jedi or Yay Sith? Or maybe Dark Side? Oh, I can uh I can use stims to buff attributes. Okay. Was there... There's not a path over there. So we're gonna go over here. Hey, you gonna let us in? Stop where you are, outsider. You're into the domain of Chundar, chieftain and leader. Step aside. I will be humorous with me and I want access to the home of my people. You have no rights here, Mad Claw. This human should not have been... Have brought this taint upon our land. You must answer to Chundar. Chundar is a bad dude. Uh, what does he mean, Zabar? Oh, I thought he meant me. Oh, I am the taint. Oh, okay. You are nameless with this honor, Mad Claw. Yours is a foulness that disgusts me. Okay, that's what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to go to Chundar. Yes, I'm doing co-op with a friend on Anthem tonight. Indeed. Oh, I can't bring... I can't bring you? Okay, well, I'll bring... 
You, and I feel like Mission should be there. But I don't know, like, if we're going to be doing fighting, I'd rather bring Candorous or Car. <sighs> is, there, is there something to having Mission come along for Zhao? Zal's already walked in. Okay. So he's all, he's, he's going to be in there regardless. But I get to have two other people with me. So I'd like to bring Mission for story purposes. Is there is there actually a story perk to it or should I just worry about fighting? Oh well. Are I sure? No, I am not sure. But I can always reload. Oh, that's what I kind of look like. I don't often allow visitors of your kind. You are flanked by Zeritska slavers. Are they not outsiders? Or have you sold out all of Kashyyyk to them? Ah, Brother Zalbar, you've been exiled a long time. You shouldn't speak in that tone. Things are different now. You're a mad claw without honor. You have no voice among your own people. I, on the other hand, am chieftain. He's got humans in here. Uh, you've made. If you've made. Oh uh, no. The nice nest of lies you have constructed. You may talk, but no one will believe you. I've had a long time to guide what my people think. And trust me, the mighty Chundar, even with my brother insane and father enslaved, I rose to protect my people. Does you let your own father be enslaved? Oh my gosh. Your father was enslaved? Mighty Chundar, what are you talking about? You were the runt. I am no runt. Him. Like I said, Zalba, a lot has changed in the years you were away. We'll discuss this soon enough. You've seen your face. I don't look like a Wookiee, but that my Wookiee in my game. My Wookiee in my game is a black Wookiee, but she's got gold eyes. I couldn't see his eyes. What do you want? Why drag us here? And it killed Zalbar because he's my brother, and I hoped he and I could come to an agreement. You are irrelevant. <gasps> what? What? No! I don't want to do menial tasks. I'm not abandoning Zalbar to you. No! Uh, the Wook Another Wookiee has suffered the same fate as Zalbar gone mad and been exiled. He now looks in the Shadowlands. More importantly, he's pestering my Zerska allies during their Shadowland expeditions. It's not good for business. Holy cow! What do you mean I killed Zalbar? What? I, there was no choice. I have no choice. Um. Uh. Well, I'm gonna reload. You whatever. Just freaking me out. You, I did. Um. There was no choice. I can't like. I can't. There was no choices there. Um, what happened? Oh no, he's standing against you. No, 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 no. What happened to you, Zabar? He took offense to my trading a few of our people for favors and weapons. I didn't understand his objection. Imagine the destruction of Zerts and Corporation that come with blasters filing. It's firing. I saved many lives. The Wookiees would rather die fighting. Of course, I also gained weapons and arranged for certain rivals to be taken care of. I protected my allies and my power grew. Whoa. Which explains why the Wookiees in this room haven't killed you. Each has come to an understanding to understand the benefit of working with the enemy unlike your exiled companion. Young Zalbar had no foresight. He couldn't control his outrage. He attacked me with his claws and damned himself doing it. A few careful stories and everyone called him Magclaw, <coughs> even Father Freyr. I easily had him exile. Let's go back to my other questions. Uh, one, 
to ask about the Shadowlands. We only enter the Shadowlands for ritual hunting. I'd lead the troublemaker down there, but he has proven too good at surviving. He has managed to, ling to linger a number of years, cowering in his madness and shame. You are expendable. You will. Oh, so you want me to go down there and take care of him? Right. Okay. This mad claw stands against you. More will come. No one follows a mad claw. He's merely a nuisance. Besides, he cowers in the Shadowlands, so people know nothing of him. Uh, consider what you said. I'll go now. Okay, you will track and kill us and send Wookiee, and maybe then you'll earn my favor. Zalbar stays here to ensure your loyalty. The church, church would never let me hold you, but they don't care what I do with fellow Wookiees. I need Zalbar with me as a guide. No, I do! Tell it's better to understand the enemy. They think it to make the Zerts got easier to fight. Actually, it makes them easier to obey. What? You can't beat me here. No one would dare oppose me to join an outsider or an exile. You wrong, brother. Someone would. Why is Zalbar holding a sword right now when he normally carries a crossbow? Uh... What are you talking about, Zalbar? Do you speak of Freyr, our father? Why? He was the one that ordered you exile when you attacked me. He went as mad as you when he finally discovered the slavers. He dared challenge them alone and has not been seen since. That was years ago. Let him go, Zalbar. I rule now. I'll take the Wookiees forward, but there are prices to pay. Uh... Uh, everyone needs a good sword. Think about the task you were given and the info you learned here. Well, there's a there's a there's a mad claw hiding down. I'm not gonna kill the mad claw who's down there. I'm gonna like go down there and try to like recruit them to help me. That's what my kind of my hope was that I can do. Oh, it's the dad, isn't it? It's the dad. Oh my gosh, they want me to, he wants me to kill his dad, maybe. Oh my gosh. Uh, don't listen to Zalbar, it's not worth it. I've given my orders, I can't hold you here, but Zalbar was the to kill the Mad Claw in the Shadowlands. Don't worry, buddy, we'll get you out of here. You can count on us. The guards will let you pass, leave the village to the northwest, and follow the platform. Okay. Well, there you all have it. It seemed like a pretty good uh, place to stop right here. So hopefully it was a good episode and you guys enjoyed it. Again, please let me know if there's anything wrong and I will try to fix it when I get back in a couple of days. Um, but until then, thank you so much for your patience. I, I really do enjoy playing this game. The editing, at least for now, is a bit of a pain, but I'll hopefully be able to fix that in the future, in future episodes. So once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.